Okay, so the first step. Now while watching a YouTube video, I can take down notes along with the timestamps of the video. And this is helpful because not only does it help create an automatic timeline, it also takes me exactly to the moment in the video by just clicking on it. And not just videos, I can do this exact same thing for podcasts as well. The app is called InSpot and it's super useful to help you capture, organize and even share information. You basically search and open a YouTube video and then tap on the star icon to highlight any moment. You can rename the moment to recall better and optionally add a note or a description. And you can do the exact same thing for podcasts also, but it gets better. Instead of writing a note, you could transcribe, so convert whatever is being said in the podcast to actual digital words. Now, I imagine myself using this for a lot of research that I do. And to organize it, you can also add tags. This makes it really easy for you to look for those relevant videos or podcasts really quickly. And of course, you can share all of this with your friends or a social media platform of your choice. And you can sign in to keep your notes synced on phone and even access on the web. And they're also planning to bring a web extension. So that would be really cool. By the way, this is completely free to use. So try it out. Step. Let's say I get a notification on one phone. I can mirror that notification onto another phone from where I can view it or dismiss it. The app is called Bridge and it's a very simple app that allows you to mirror notifications between any two Android devices, could be phones or tablets. So when one device receives a notification, the other phone gets it too, where I could then respond to the notification or simply dismiss it and it gets dismissed on the original phone as well. And if I send a reply, it would go via the original device. Super cool. You can install it on as many devices as you want and you can decide which ones will receive mirrored notifications. You can also decide the apps for which notifications will get mirrored. And so if there are certain apps that you don't want notifications to get mirrored for, you can do that. Now do remember to go into general settings and turn on mirroring of incoming calls and mirror them immediately. Of course, this does imply it will consume your battery slightly faster, but that's your choice. But there is a caveat, there's a seven day trial period. So if you do find it useful and worthy, it's just a one time three or four dollars. And now a quick shout out to our sponsors. If you're a business, an entrepreneur, or even a creator, do you have your own website and personalized business email? You know, using WordPress website links and standard Gmail IDs can look unprofessional. It's actually very easy to get your personalized website domain. For example, I'm in India, so I could get a country level domain like a .in domain. Why? First, I'm more likely to get a website name that I want, given there's just more availability, unlike a .com domain. And this way you can secure your brand identity as no one else can own it. Second, I can have my very own domain specific email IDs which look a lot more professional and comes with 10 gigabytes of free storage. And third, the .in domain has been chosen as the seventh most desirable domain globally. And that just means more recognition for you. And you know, it takes less than two minutes to book a domain and it's really simple, anyone can do it. Just search for your domain, add to cart, and you can own a .in domain for a super low price. And to get started, you could go to this link and book your website domain. Okay, so the next app is called Note to Self. And with this app, you can text yourself anything. It could be reminders, to-dos, or just thoughts that you have, and you can organize them all very nicely over here. Like a lot of times, I get suggestions randomly from friends to watch something. I just put them here real quick, and I send it to myself as a message. If I have a personal errand, I just drop it right here and send myself a note. And it's not just limited to text messages. You can add photos, location, and even voice notes if you don't wish to type. Now I've created these threads here for myself, but you could go ahead and create your own. For example, if you're working on a few habits to develop, you can give it a name, you could give it a picture. So it's easy for you to identify, add emojis to make it a bit more interesting. And yeah, there you go, just like that. And so if you are addicted to texting, then might as well make a good habit out of it. What if your wallpaper could instantly tell you your phone's battery level? Green for well charged, yellow for in between, and red for needs charging. Or how about a happy Pikachu, not so happy, and a sleeping Pikachu instead? The app is called Dynamic Wallpaper and it does just that. You can set it on your home screen, lock screen, or both. And all you have to do is just turn on this toggle and that's it. Now, if you go deeper into the app, there are actually many wallpaper preset collections that you could choose from. So depending on what kind of design aesthetics you like on your phone, you could choose a preset. 
and I think uh, the developer will come up with an option to have your own wallpapers instead. And lastly are these beautiful KWGT widgets that you see being used across these home screen setups. It's no doubt that these are all iOS inspired and so if you're the kinds who doesn't mind a bit of iOS uh, aesthetics on your home screen then this is the widget pack for you. Very vibrant. So the widget pack is called IUI KWGT widget and it's a collection of nearly 100 widgets and still gets updates quite frequently. You get your usual kinds of widgets including day, time, weather, music and apps and you get some in their respective light and dark versions. So depending on the kind of wallpaper you're using, you've got flexibility. They're all beautifully designed and very high quality too. But like most premium KWGT widget packs, this one too is not free and it costs about $2. But I do have 30 promo codes to give away to you guys. And all you've got to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes to IUI KWGT widget pack. Also, there are some rules pertaining to promo codes giveaway. It'll be in the description. Remember to go through that. All right, so those were the best apps for the month of December 2022. Now, towards the end of December, I'll be doing a full roundup of all the apps of 2022 and feature the best ones. Now, if you have your favorite, let me know in the comment section and may the best app make it to that video. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was really helpful. And if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.